Hello and welcome to graphic designing course. This course is purposely for uh, flyer design, training you on how to design a flyer. My name is Bernard Menza and I will be your teacher. Now, uh, when we say flyer design, when we say flyer design, uh, before we design anything or before we start designing anything, there are a lot of elements and then there are a lot of concepts that comes together to create that design. Uh, like uh, like food, when we are cooking, there are a lot of things that comes together to create that delicious meal that we enjoy. The same way also when we are designing something, whether be a, a, a flyer, be a logo, or any, any any kind of design, a lot of things also comes together to create a beautiful design. And I would want us to uh, go through some of them. And uh, I would want us to talk about target audience. I would want us to talk about message. I would want us to talk about colors, typography, images, images and shapes, call to action arrangement and alignment these are basic things uh, i would want us to to touch on in this particular course these are the basic things i would want us to touch on now uh, when we say target markets uh, you know um sometimes knowing your target market or knowing the kind of people your client wants to reach sometimes also influences the way you approach your design. So knowing what your, your, your client is all about, what his business is all about. Um, a flyer design of, let's say, a Montessori school is totally different from a flyer f of, uh, let's say, a church. And their, their, their target markets are totally different from each other. So with that, uh, they influence the way you, you, do, you do your designs. Uh, the second thing also is your message. Sometimes, you know, people would want to uh, go about and, you know, sometimes it confuses people and people get bored easily. Truth be told, people get bored easily. So, uh, sometimes when you are doing a design, you'd want to go as straight as possible to get straight to... Uh, you get your message straight to the point, as clear as possible, straight to the point, as short as possible, clear and concise message, and you are done. Uh, another thing which is very critical, this, this, this particular place is very critical, which are the colors. The colors are very critical because, you know, uh, colors have meanings, and if you are not careful, you might use wrong colors that might give wrong meanings and your whole flyer design or probably your whole uh, logo design might miscommunicate colors have meaning so sometimes choosing colors you have to be very careful choosing colors because over time people had done many stu uh, studies of colors and uh, you know colors can depict um, what you want to say to your target audience and a, a whole lot so uh, I, I learned that sometimes when you when you want to do design you have to be very careful so normally when I'm doing a design I would ask the client um, what are his or her, her colors and if they give to me I'll try to ask them why they pick those colors and some sometimes some of the clients they don't even know why they pick the colors so it is up to you also to try and find out why they pick those colors. Try get the meaning of the colors. And then when you get the meaning of the colors, if it, it sells what they want to sell, fine. If it doesn't sell, then you'd have to brainstorm for new colors, which would really help with the design. So, yeah, um, that's for colors. And I, I think color has, like I already said, color has a lot of meaning. So that directly affects 
what you want to do and the second thing i also want to talk about is the typography typography basically means uh, the words you've typed or the words you've put in together the font size the font style how they spaced and all those things also count uh, font uh, typography some sometimes i i realize sometimes some people use like more than three different font styles and you know it creates all those things creates a lot of confusion sometimes i advise that you don't use anything above three font style to you know get your message clear because you can have a very clear message but when your font style is too stylish if i should say it's too stylish or it is not arranged in a particular order it is not having a particular you know font size and all those things they they, they really really affect the message what you want to say the next thing i want to talk about is uh, images and shapes which um you know there are a lot of things again there are a lot of things that come together to create the the perfect um flyer you'd want to create or the perfect thing you'd want your your target market to see or the perfect information you'd want the target market to see so images also comes in where you bring in images probably photographs of products uh, of the clients all those things comes in and there are shapes lines and all those things also comes in to create some unique design for your clients that can sell it its products another thing i would want us to look at is call to action normally you know people sometimes needs to be told what to do or yes what to do okay after reading all that what do you want them to do call now or visit our showroom here and there so sometimes you need to add call to action call to action what do you want them to do do you want them to call you then you provide your 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 contacts do you want them to visit your showroom then you provide your address and all those other things and then also last but not least we would want to look at arrangements and alignment uh, you know arrangement and alignment is also very key in designing uh, when i started designing i used to be doing arranging anything in there until a friend told me look you can't just arrange anything in here because you don't want the reader or you don't want the the target market to be roaming looking for information that is on your flyer you're not supposed to be roaming on your flyer looking for emo- information things need to be arranged in order so yes and uh, i would want us to jump right into practical there's a practical course you would have to be following me and then uh, sometimes when i'm going a little fast you can pause and then also do what uh, do try your hands on some of them so um i want to introduce you to a software which i've been using for some time now which is very powerful and uh, the software's name is canva i've been using the software for some time which is very powerful what the software does is it has pre-installed uh, templates we call them templates that is designs they've, they've already done some of the designs so you can pick them and then customize them sometimes i pick and customize sometimes too i do my designs from scratch still in canva so there's this th- there's an app for this i've downloaded this app for my pc and then also i can access it uh, um, i can access it i can access it on my browser the same york so you can have it an app on your phone at the same time you can uh, access it on your in your phone browser so for the purpose of this course we would want to focus on flyer design so um, you would have to create an account with Canva with your uh, email account whether your Gmail or any other email account so you would have to create an account with Canva and then when you create the account then you come to the home page so at this point i want you to pause uh, the video and then create an account on canva with your with your with your email account and then from there we continue okay hopefully it went well 
so now we would have to come and try some of their their templates now like i said this program is focusing on flyer design so i don't have to scroll and then look for flyer portraits flyer portraits and i want us to click on that now when you click on that to it will open a template okay so now this is asking me since i have the uh, the software installed on my phone is asking me to open in a software and then i i just want to work in the browser so i just say no and then as you can see there are a lot of templates here and then this these are my recently used templates i've used some of them recently and uh, like i said they're very good and sometimes i try my possible best not to uh, copy exactly what is there i try to do some few changes again to suit my my taste or to suit the customer's need so uh, i would want us to start designing something we would have to pick one flyer i don't have to look for um, a flyer let's scroll down my mine is just here because i recently used it but uh, you would have to scroll down far down and then look for it uh, i think uh, it's somewhere down or well, depending on your your account since i recently used it it will recently be available for me but i would want us to scroll down and then look for this so when you click on it it will come to your workspace so i don't want us to load this and then we'll be working with this so uh i'll give you some time to look for this and then we 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 continue from there okay so continuing and um one thing about canva is the fact that some things are free and then some things are not free and uh, truth be told i've been using camera for some time and uh, i've actually not paid anything to canva i i use some of the things and some of the things that are for sale i still use them and i know how i maneuver my way around them so i'll be showing you some of the tricks so selecting this you would realize that this there's the something at the back you know it's having these lines and then even when i select the background you can see it says remove watermark so meaning it's for sale and then you can see uh, something written at the back canva this thing is at the back so normally i don't want to buy and then i don't also want it to distract me so i'll delete it so then it's clear for me i hope you see it's, it's deleted so we just select that the background and then delete it now we i don't want us to design this i just designed this very simple flyer the information on it uh, they are not it's actually not for anyone i just just for the purposes of this uh, program i just designed it and you can see uh, well it looks it looks good to me it looks nice to me so we'll design this flyer so now this logo too is, is just it just it came with a theme I, I intentionally didn't want to use anyone's logo to to create any problem for myself so if you can look at it you see it has a particular color and then arrangements also is in order it has call to action contact us and then all the contact information it has what they do and all that so we are designing a flyer like this when we are done we we'll also design another flyer so let's start this now you can see i changed the background and then put a different background so i want us to come to our, our work and when you look on the left side there's a menu for those who are using um computer but for those also who are using phones you can still look for the menu and then when you look for the menu you will see this is design where the templates are or where the designs are that you can choose what you want and then the next one is elements 
a next one is elements and I would want us to search for background I, I've already searched for background so it's already in my recent so I can click on that but since you are new you would have to type background and then look for a background like this this is what I used it's an image this is what I used so I click on it and then it comes so I, I had, this is uh, this is horizontal I don't want it to be vertical so if you see this this is to rotate the image so I rotate it to exactly 90 degrees so exactly 90 degrees come on come on come on come on no okay let me zoom in a little sometimes when you zoom in it helps with that yes there's 19 so let me zoom out and by the way zoom in zoom out on the on the on the computer i'm using control and my scroll button on my my mouse i'm scrolling up on my mouse so i press and hold control and then scroll up on my mouse it will zoom in scroll down it will zoom out so when you do this now you can see that it has covered some places so now let's talk about layers now with in every design there are layers some layers are on top of the other every design is made up of layers layers of elements so now we just brought in this element which we want to use as a background but unfortunately is on top of a particular layer and the background is supposed to be at the far back and when you see these lines meaning it's already selected when i click outside you see nothing is selected but it's gone to the back door which is good but just in case it didn't go to the back you select whichever one well it's gone to the back so then there's no need but when when there's something you want to take to the back or you want to bring to the front you select it and you see this position so you choose whether to go back or come forward again layers some are on top of the other so it depends on what you want to do if you want something to go to the far back you just take it back if you want it to come in front or you realize you put something which probably it is it is behind maybe what you want to be in front you just use this same position so you have to select what you want to go back or to come forward and then use the position to position it so uh, I think we are okay or we are good with the background now we've inserted the background now we want to do something like this so with the image we have I think the image we have is a wrong image so we can delete this very image so it's just select it and delete it so you can delete f delete frame it will delete the whole thing and then uh, for this I would not want to delete it for now so let's just place it somewhere so that we can have space to work now uh, let me show you something you can drag click you click on your mouse and then drag and it will select some portion of uh, um, elements so it will select them click once and then you drag to wherever you want normally if you would have to do it one by one which it will be stressful so normally I select all of them and then drag them to wherever I want so I think mm, I think this place is okay it's okay and then if you can realize there are some lines which is trying to tell you it is it is aligned alignment is also very important in this so the software also has some intelligence behind it that is trying to also help in alignment so when you select it will, it, will, it will be telling you or it will be drawing some lines for you to see everything is in, is, is, is in line so then if you're okay with it then you let it go and now again you select and you drag so I'm creating space for my designs so now I have some round pictures. 
so you come still to the elements you click the element to go back i have recently used them but i'll not pick it for my recently used so i'll show you how to do it look for type for frames sorry my couplers are on it doesn't really you don't really need to type in couple just type frames and then all the frames will come look for the round not this but the perfect round frame but some of the frames are just round without any 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 border around it or any strip if you check this there's no border around it but if you check this one i used you know there's this um um uh, is a border or strip around it now there are ways to achieve this but on the frame itself some of the frame already have uh, those 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 features so it's either i look for the frame that's having those features or i create it myself so i think this frame has and then this frame has this one is too uh, the 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 strip the border around it is too thick for me so and it doesn't what i want to use so let me just it's already selected and i delete and then let me bring this one yes so this is what i want don't worry about what is inside is is a way to tell you that it's a frame so I think there's a bigger one so I, I make it a little big and hide it a little make it big and hide it a little mm -hmm. I think that's okay for me now uh, I can select and then duplicate you see this plus sign means you want to duplicate and I duplicate and then I resize that one to, to the smaller one you can place it any way you'd want pair your design however you want the design to look like so i want it to look like this i designed i designed this so i want it to look like this so i place it on top of it now i have to come and look for pictures for it you can look for pictures in canva but uh, it is a little limited because again canva some of the stuff or some of the elements in canva are for sale so then it, it, it can create, it can, it can limit you. So what I do is I come to Google and then look for, um, um, what's the name? Uh, what do I go for? We are, we are designing for a plumbing shop or yes, let's just say a plumbing shop. So let me click plumbing. Sorry, I'm typing with one hand, forgive me. Plumbing materials. So, this is how you Google. Now, you come to images. I will not pick any image here, but I'm just showing you how to Google. Now, how to Google for images. Now, when the mistake some people do is the minute they Google for something like this, and then it comes, the first thing they see it's either they download the image from here which is very wrong because this are thumbnails thumbnails are not the actual size of the pictures so the best you can do or to get the best picture you see there's a thumbnail like i said so you click on it and then you wait for this image to load now this is the actual image size if you download this you are just downloading the thumbnail but if you download this then you are downloading the actual image size or the actual yeah the actual uh, uh, size of the image so and then again some people will come right click and then save us and then download it to wherever they want to download uh, that one has its advantage and disadvantage when you save us the advantage is you know sometimes this image is hosted by somebody i don't want to get into that but that that image is on somebody's uh, server or somebody's website and there's a chance that website can go up so when you save this image you've saved it so whether the image goes off or not you've saved it onto your 
computer so as in when you want to use an image like that you just pick it and use it fine that's very good but again it is eating up your 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 hard drive space and uh, sometimes it gets messy but what i normally do is i copy the image rather now when you copy the image you've not downloaded the image onto your pc but one disadvantage is the fact that if i want to come and use the same picture again i would have to come and look for it and then just in case wherever this picture is hosted somehow the picture is gone then i may not get the same picture again that's one disadvantage but normally i like doing like that so i just come and copy and then and then i come to where i want it and then just do control v to paste so when i do control v to paste it will download into canva so when i come here we'll, we'll, we'll get here soon when i come here i will see anything that i pasted but i'm not using this image actually i'm just showing you how to get the image uh, my image i already have i already have some images um i already have some images uh, let me see let me see let me see let me see sorry i already have them um i have some personal stuff here so i wouldn't want i have some personal information here so let me just copy it let me just copy it from the already design i have already done so we'll just do control c and i come and do control v and yes it says sincere so you see it comes with a frame so i can just delete this frame because i've already shown you how to get a frame and then how to put a picture inside the frame you just when you paste the picture you just drag the picture over the frame and then the frame the frame would accept the picture when you see that the frame the frame had accepted if you want to see it's a frame so let's say for example let's just use let me use this second frame to show you an example of what i'm saying so i come to um uploads and then you see when i'm dragging the image the it looks normal until i i take it over a frame and i realize the image changes so then you see that the frame is having the image if i want it there then i drop it if i don't want it there i still move around to where i want it if i don't want it here then i will take it out so it doesn't take uh, the frame doesn't take the image so let me copy this also copy and paste so let me just delete this now i have my images ready for me so with this you know we we already we already deleted let me just paste this so we are just looking on this to create something similar but not exactly that and you mind you i said we deleted this background because this background was for sale when you look at the strips inside and then you see the canvas thing it's for sale and you see this remove watermark thing it means it's for sale i don't want to buy it so then i work around it so i want to create this 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 lines already i picked this from here so i would i can delete it but i decided not to delete it so i'll just rotate it and you see i already have it here so i just rotate it and then take it back a little now shapes you remember shapes and images we've already inserted image we are doing shapes so the shapes i've inserted this shape now i need to do the other ones and there are tricks to do this so i just select it duplicate do you remember i said do you remember i said when you want something to go over something there are layers so i duplicate it and then i get a layer but because they are one color you can see you can see it but uh, if you are not careful you may not see it but you can see the lines if you can see the lines when i'm moving you can see the lines of this particular layer which is on top but this layer is beneath so i'll change this layer color to black because this layer 
it's actually black but we'll get there i change this color so you see the red is on top of the black let me take it back a little now let me show you a trick now this this particular element is already selected uh, you see this it's called opacity or transparency opacity opacity is actually from uh, photoshop but here the, the color transfer is still the same thing so we click on it transparency is 100 percent i reduce the transparency uh, 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 level so it creates you know something 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 for me so i think this yeah i think this should go back a little this should also go back a little now and let's it creating this two two design so i come here still elements and i see lines and shapes so i pick this and then when i click it comes so i select it pull it up and then resize it i resize and then i use this to change the angle or direction um yes i think this is okay for me i drag i drag yes i think we are on track and then I bring it back a little right I think this is okay and then I change the opacity change the opacity and then highlight it's already highlighted then I, I duplicate it now it's duplicated so I can go back to the opacity and make this opacity bigger and it's similar yeah similar so yes so i think we are done with this side this i just picked the same the same so let's just use the same right up which abc plumbing so you just change abc plumbing but if you are designing for someone and the person has this or a logo you can just delete this and you see this is also for sale you can just delete this and then put the person's logo back for the purposes of this training i don't want to use anyone's logo that's why i'm using this so just the logo to is a drag and drop or there's this trick also you can use the frame trick you can pick one frame when the frame comes then you drop the logo especially for logos that has white background and all that if you have a png logo then you can drop it straight for it if you don't have a png logo and then the logo has a background that is a white background or any other background you pick this image uh, frame and then you drop the logo into the frame and then you resize and then you leave it there and yeah you continue with that but i don't have i don't use anyone's logo so let's just move on with it okay so i think uh we are getting closer now i said what uh we are we are your best choice for your bathroom uh, it's just something i wrote um so uh now we look at the 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 the, the font size this font size has 36 so i want to use the same font size uh, so i'll come back and then come and reduce so that my 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 right tab can go into that space so i come and highlight drop down and then use 36 was it 36 yes 36 or i can use this add or minus now since we are here let's let's do the whatever it's here so now font style is the style of your your writing or your font so this is where you highlight you highlight and then you drop down you highlight and you drop down and you have a lot of font styles here some for sale some free again like i said i've been using canva for some time and i've not paid anything so you just choose whatever is available for you and make it nice and then you just move on so i think i'll maintain this font size font style just reduce the font style and then the hiring we are your best choice let me just copy uh, this one is 48 the font the font style is 48 so and 
one thing I would want you to know is you see this place was on one line that it's a text box you see this text box this thing this text box the smaller it is this is the size you want your f your 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 font to take so if your font is too big it will automatically or if, if your font is too big and then it's making it long it will automatically break it down to the next line but if i should stretch this you realize it will be on one line so meaning the font is too big if i reduce it it can be on one line and you see even as i stretch it is 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 distorting my whole design i don't like it like that so 48 and voila so i can if i like i can leave the 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 text box like that if i'm not working around there that it will worry me i can leave it like that so then now i would want to write this under your choice i can copy from here but i don't want to copy from here I mean I can copy lift the whole text box but I just want to copy the text content so I come here and I want the same this same font style so I just click and duplicate and bring it down again you you're realizing that the, 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 uh, the lines are trying to align for me if, if it's a good English I just said the lines are trying to align for me oh, that's nice so then I do control V and then it's paste. It paste for me. Now there's a there's a distortion, so I just have to rearrange some few things and just take this up. And then bring this down so that I bring this one down. Okay. And we are getting closer. So this goes a little here. Okay. Now, I said this is the font style, this is the font size, and this is the color of the, the font, and this is where you can bold in, italize, or underline. Some fonts, some font styles, you you, you not get the option to bold in or italize. Some font style also, you can get the option to bold and italize. So we need to uh, um, pay attention to that. And then also this is for alignment. In one particular text box, this is in one particular text box. And you see this is ends here and then continues from here. But maybe you want it to be centered. It will center it in the text box. You want to left align. So I think I, I want it, I want it uh, left align. So I'll leave it at no this is justify i want it to left align so now this is left align and this bulletin just to create list now and um, this is what i want us to do now when you come here this is for letter spacing look at it you realize the letters are spacing themselves i uh, that's not what i want i want this line spacing you realize the lines so the line was too much and then i'll come here and then reduce the line so since I reduce the line, I think I have to bring this one down a little also to make it uniform. Then take this line up. And I think, yeah, we are good. We, we are getting close. We are getting close. So now, just the job description, I, I just wrote in stock. So let me just type in stock. Again, this was just for training purposes in stock so, uh, so yeah in stock and then when you want to when you want to drag or position something you have to select each element one by one layer by layer and then position it but there's another way also you can do it so that you can select whichever element or whichever group of elements you want to move and then it will group them at once and then help you move them so i think this is okay and then i'll select this group of elements also but i want to increase the size so you see when you when you bring the cursor to the 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 the, the borders it gives you this so then i can just drag 
to increase the font uh, size and you see i'm still looking for alignment now i have it and i just drop it this is not in a, this is not aligned so let me just align it i think this is okay and we have even created you know some kind of design here so here no i think this should come this should come it's for this so it should come yeah at least this is okay so once you contact us so this is a call to action contact for some reason i hate to type for some reason so normally i do, i do a lot of copy and paste i i'm i'm, I'm a good I, I type a little fast but i just keep typing so forgive me I, I type i type faster than that so just resize and um, mm -hmm. select and uh, resize. I think that's okay. So yeah, I think we are done. And yes, again, submit your CV. No, we are not submitting CV. So you select the text box and you delete. So you put your contact details you put your website if you do, the person doesn't have a website you just have to delete and delete the website icon and probably enter press enter here to drop the space down so that you have it well arranged and um yeah i think i think it's looking good i think it's looking good so so far we've been able to design one flyer using using um we 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 we, we have our target market which was a plumbing shop our message was clear and concise we we are your we are your best choice for your bathroom our message was clear and concise our colors we chose we chose this the, the this is our main color because if you look at the logo this is our main color and then there's the second color so we used only the colors in the logo we didn't we didn't go out so this in this particular design we only used two colors and I personally personally using white I don't count white as one of my colors so if i'm if 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 i'm supposed to count i'm counting only two colors. if i used white okay it was white but i don't count it because i think white to me white is neutral so i have two colors which it looks clean it looks clean very clean to me and you see even if i'd wanted well fine maybe when we inserted the frame, the color, the color of the frame border or the frame strip is the same as the color we are using. So we left it, but just in case you're supposed to change it, we just highlight and you see this section color. That's the color for the strips. You realize it changed to black, but that's not black. We want a black, we want red. So yeah and uh, i think that's it uh this is this, this is our first project on canva and um yeah if i think i think this 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 is a very powerful tool it is a very powerful tool very very powerful tool i've been using canva for some time now and it has a lot of elements a lot of features and a lot of things you can use so now let's come to the side now said the first one is design where the templates are to choose the second one are elements so where you insert your your elements to do your designs and uh, now let me show you one thing anytime you want to use anything whether templates whether elements and you see this thing written under pro meaning it is for sale but you see there's no pro here meaning it's not for sale it's, it's one of the free stuff you can use 
so these are elements where you find your elements to use this is upload so anything you upload this way it comes you have your, you can upload your video you can upload audio again these are personal some some people's personal stuff so i don't want to go there and then this is where you can have your test so we're using the test on 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 the on the template we didn't have to insert any test but if you have to insert it this way come and then there are a lot there are a lot a lot of uh test font font styles and font colors and font font styles yes so you can't go out here but then again you need to be very careful what you use so you don't miscommunicate so you have the font styles and you don't have to choose anything over you just come to the top and you see you have simple font styles here so, sorry text boxes here so we just insert the text box click to insert you change the content then if you have to change the font style you change the font style you change the size then you come and change the color to suit what you whatever you are doing so yeah so let me delete this select delete so for the purposes of this particular training this is where we do design elements upload and test so yeah now we've designed yeah, i think it looks good i think it looks pretty good so now after designing you come to share then you come to download now this is a very trickish this is a very trickish place you need to pay very good attention file type is asking your file type so you select school you can you can you can you can download this as png but i don't like downloading as png i just select jpeg and then don't mess here because you see it's not even giving the option to do because it's for sale you you have to pay to get an option to uh, you know affect some changes here it is asking you to pay i don't want to pay and in fact i'm not interested in paying so you just leave this place now here normally when it is just one design you see i inserted this here because i wanted us to see what what we are looking on to design but on a normal day if it's just one 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 design on 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 one design there you just see you know you, you don't see this option but because it's two it's asking you which one to download and normally when you download this two together it will put it in a zip folder which also i don't like putting it in a zip folder because you know getting it out of the zip folder is, is a little long long process for me so just in case i want to download this two maybe maybe this is an actual design i want to download in addition to this i've just selected one so just select 10 i, I first of all turn all of because you have to turn all off to know what you are doing and then choose page one then i download so when you download yes now we are here now when you use any of their 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 elements that are for sale this is what you get it will ask you to do something i normally i try to avoid everything here so you just come to the three dots here and then you see the option purchase pro lenses i'm not purchasing anything so you just come down to download a free watermark draft now if you look here you don't see any free watermark drafts so i'm good to go then i download it from here but if there is no if there's no um no element for sale normally you just come download uh, select PN, uh, jpeg then select whichever elements okay download and then it downloads but when you face this issue you don't panic just come to the three dots and then come to download a free watermark and then it will download for you so yes, yeah, so let me just delete this and then let me show you 
downloading just one so come to download and you know I, I did save download settings so it will always leave the settings but if I didn't do that like it would have come back to PNG so you, you always have to leave this on so JPEG and you see it's, there's no page options here it's just asking me to download so you just and then click download and then you are good to go so thank you very much for joining me to learn something new and then um, i'm happy you are learning something new and one advice i can give is practice 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 and then being creative i need to practice more it was designing takes a lot and normally what i do is sometimes when i see people's design i try to uh, 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 design that same thing again with whatever that is available to me I try to design it as well I showed you how to get the element how to insert images and all so thank you for joining me and uh, hope to see you in the next uh, tutorial have a great day bye bye